Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My question is, uh, according to Islam, interest is haram, but as a resident of Canada, we have to use our credit cards and most of our job is into our credit card because of the credit card. So how do we uh, balance this? First of all, again, these are all repeated questions. I've answered them on my website and YouTube, but <clears throat> as long as we're here, credit card is a RIBA-based transaction. You have 40 days grace period. You don't pay, you're gonna pay RIBA. Everybody knows this. So the transaction itself is haram. Signing the paper to acquire a credit card is haram. But in America, in North America, in Canada, we have a necessity because if I'm going to book in an airline ticket or a hotel or to pay the rent, they will not accept my debit card. They say it has to be a credit card. In addition to, as a citizen or an individual, I have to build my credit. So I have to use my credit card. It's a must. What should I do? If this is a necessity and there is no Islamic credit card available uh, at all, in this case, you may use it. What I would do is I would top it off. So this month, in the beginning of the month, I'll put $10,000 in it. Oh, Sheikh, you're rich. Akhi, this is an example. Yo oh, Allah, now it's going to be viral. Sheikh is going to top his credit card with $10,000. I don't know even how to write $10,000, how many zeros in it. I, I don't know. Anyhow, no, I was joking. You top it off with $10,000 and you use it. So whatever you use, you're actually using your own money because I've charged it up front. And this way, it's safe, inshallah, and there is no riba uh, on you. Bismillah.